I just wanted to take a break and warn you that I'm going to show you real diapers that have been used and so that way you kind of get a realistic picture so you might want to skip this part. So for the first option of how cleaning your diapers, um, you would take either the liner or the pad or if it's an all-in-one you would take the whole diaper dunking it in your toilet and then um, shaking off any of the solids um, and then being able to flush those and then carrying it in a bucket is my choice um, so I don't drip anything on the floor and then pouring them into the wash and washing them as normal. A second option is having a bucket that is filled with water and you just throw the diaper all in together um, separating it if it needs it and then kind of dunking it. This would be the same kind of concept as the toilet but your hands are not in the toilet um, which is could be a little bit you know better like peace of mind that your hands aren't in your toilet um, but I mean you kind of have to get over the fact that you're going to be touching poop and so you know plumbers do it all the time and that's not even their own family so i figured i can do this for my own children that i've birthed out of my body um, and sacrifice my own comfort level for my loved ones um, but this one is the bottom liner and it wasn't too bad or wasn't really soiled and so it's much easier to kind of like you know just kind of squeeze out and then the top one was the one that was the nasty one and this is very similar strategy to the toilet you just dunk it and get all the solids out um, and let those fall off into the water and trying to get it as clean as possible um, and then we will take the bucket with all the yucky gross water um, and solids and flush that down the toilet and something I like to do is just rinsing out my buckets often, washing my hands often. Um, I mean, I spray the bathroom down and mop a lot and clean and sanitize the tub, of course, because this is the tub our family uses. So um, just trying to keep germs down as much as possible. So moving on to washing, um, and you can see I have other laundry that needs to be done. So with cloth diapers, you do have to work it into your normal laundry schedule um, and realize that it does take extra work. You need to make sure that you have a soap that will be cloth diaper friendly and you also cannot use softener because it softener what softener does is put a coating on your diapers and they will become less absorbent. Um, also, you need to every once in a while strip your diapers and what that means is you let them soak either in bleach or um, you can use Dawn dish soap and let them sit overnight um, just to help get all this stuff out of it. I love using vinegar to help with odor. So now my diapers are going. I've rinsed out my mop bucket and I put in some OxyClean and washing soda. They're about 50-50 mixture, and um, I get that all dissolved in some water. And then I will sit it on the windowsill out of reach of our children, so that way we don't have a drowning hazard. We have lots of little ones, and I don't want them falling in. And on to option number three. Yes, that is poop in the bathtub. Um, the third option, uh, if you don't want to use the toilet or bucket method, you can literally wash it off the solids into your bathtub and the water pressure helps get the liner and cover a little bit more clean than just dunking it into the toilet just from the force of the water. And if you're curious, yes, I actually have Clorox spray that I spray all the handles and knobs that I touch with. Um, and so it is quite a bit of extra work to do cloth diapers because I'm constantly washing my hands. I'm constantly um, sanitizing things. Um, but that's just one of the things that we 
choose to do for our family. And the point of this video um, is to give moms that are considering cloth diapers a realistic expectation because I think it's easy for moms to point out all the good of things and then we make a choice as moms um, but we don't realize oh there was a lot of extra work so you know we had to change the laundry soap we used and you have the extra laundry to do on top of keeping up with the laundry in your family so that's extra water bill um, you have to think of the extra soap and cleaning products like sanitizing our tub I bleach it after every um, time I clean out a diaper and so that is it still is cost effective as far as the overall cost but you have to realize that you are using extra hand soap because you're washing your hands more and the extra cleaning product so I just want to be honest and real and open so that way you can make a truly informed educated decision and what's best for your family so the easier part is just washing the ones that are not soiled with uh, poop you know it's just pee you can just literally take the liners out throw them in the wash and be on your way hey guys if you made it all the way through this video I just want to say thank you and uh, we are going to be having baby number seven soon so be sure to look out for that video um, and we will be doing strictly throwaway diapers during that season so here's a fun little video of our boys going through diapers and throwing them around and just having a good old time <laughs> so remember whatever decision you make um, it is right for your family you do not have to answer to anyone and just look at the pros and cons and I hope this video was helpful as you go on your journey <laughs>